Hello everyone, Misty Lee here with Moms Get Wealthy. And I am going to show you how easy it is to edit the background on a photo using the free version of PicMonkey. I've used a lot of programs. I am very comfortable with uh, Photoshop and just high level programs. And I can tell you that this works just as well as any of them. Um, just in terms of altering the background, if that's all you need to do to a photo. Um, I used this the other day and I just am very, very happy with it. So what you want to do initially, of course, is just go and uh, click on the open here to be able to access your image. And I already have my image right here. Very happy, smiling girl. But I don't want the green background here. So the first step to changing the background is that you want to go to this touch up icon right here. And if you hover over it, it will say touch up. And then at this point, you're, once you click on touch up, you're going to get these options here. And the one you want is called blush boost. I would typically, you wouldn't think that this would be an option for changing the background, but it is. So what you want to do initially, probably the fastest way to get to where you um, can change the color is to click on this color bar and it will open up all of the colors to select. Now I want to change this to a light blue. You may decide to begin by wanting to decrease the green initially. And so there's really two main components that you need to be concerned with here, the brush size and the fade. So the fade really determines the transparency. So if I have this all the way up to let's say 78%, it is less transparent. You can see that, okay, it's changing it slightly. But if I move the fade all the way down, it's definitely going to take away more of that green. Okay, you see that difference? And I like to work in a pattern just to make sure that I don't miss anything. And depending on the image, and the image size will depend on the size of the brush that you use. So if I increase the size, then of course I can increase, increase the brush size as well. So which you're safe to do, of course, when you're doing the outer edges. And this is what I do. I just work in a back and forth fashion initially. This will save you the most time. Okay, and then when you want to get really close, you're going to just bring that in like so. Um, this is if you want to fit to the window. And then, goodness, it changes the brush size, so now I'll need to decrease the brush size. But you can see how much closer I am to her hair. And it can be a little bit more precise. So that's pretty straightforward there. So uh, let's say the final step then is that we want to change this to a blue. Now everything that we've already covered, it's going to automatically change that to blue. But we still have some other areas left. So then at this point, we're just going to go over that. Now remember, if you need to decrease the transparency on it, just change the fade. And then also to get closer to her hair, you're going to increase the size on this bar. And you end up with very professional uh, looking images. Sorry about that pop-up, my computer is new, so it's wanting to install all these fabulous updates that I'm not ready for yet. Um, okay, but this is definitely one of my favorite new tools. I'm a photographer. And so this has just been so nice because it's quick and easy and free. So if you have any questions or comments at all, please feel free to leave that in the comments section on this video.